Good. All right, so I've got a refrigerant hose here, and I just got it on the vapor side of a tank of 410A. I'll show you after uh, we do a little demo here, but I'm just gonna barely crack the valve on this, and you're gonna see a small amount of refrigerant vapor that starts to escape the hose. So you can see there, small amount of tr trace vapor, and I'm gonna go ahead and get it right to where you can just hear it and start to throttle it back. Now you'll notice that when I shut it off, that there is no refrigerant falling out of the hose, and that's because it's just like when you put your finger over a straw full of soda pop, and the vacuum creates a place where the refrigerant really can't go out, and the air can't come in. And additionally, there's vapor pressure that's pushing a small amount of refrigerant out you could probably pick up with a leak detector. But if this was again filling with air, what we would see is we would see is a trace amount of refrigerant, which I'll crack this just a hair again. You can see that, and I'll keep throttling it back here. You can see that as long as the refrigerant's falling out of the hose, you can see the vapor. So this is very, very small amount of vapor. But as soon as I shut it off, it's like I put my finger over the end and no air can come in and no refrigerant can come out. I'm gonna have them pan over here and just shoot at the tank. And you can see how I got it hooked up, just vapor on there. So that's how it works.